Peace and love, family. It's your girl, Nashe. What's up? What's good? Today, we're going to try another fragrance because that Valentino, born in Roma, although she was super amazing when I first sprayed her on, it did not work for me. That perfume died so quickly. Within less than two hours, I could not smell that fragrance anymore. And it was super disappointing. So... I returned her and I exchanged her for another fragrance that we're going to try today. Here is my Macy's bag and in this bag I have a fragrance that I didn't even know was in existence. This is the Billie Eilish fragrance and this is the first of three. So I believe it was a couple years ago, Billie Eilish came out with this fragrance and since then she's expanded her line. Now, I was searching for something that gave that adult vanilla scent and I landed upon this. I found her on Amazon right around Black Friday and I did a whole lot of research, you know how we get, and I watched a lot of reviews and it seemed like something that I would want to try. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now keep in mind, I still have my receipts. And if this does not work out, I will be returning her back to Macy's within that 30 day time frame. I was in Macy's the day after my birthday, just, sen just smelling scents and you know seeing what was out there. And I had my Born in Roma in my, my bag and I was not even really thinking about returning it. It just happened to be in my bag. And the saleswoman was super sweet, but she was super pushy. And she kept telling me, you need to try this. You need to try that. You need to do this. You need to do that. So I said to myself, let me see if she'll accept a return. I did not have the physical return um, receipt. She was able to look up my purchase and take that mess back. Okay? <laughs> So I'm so happy that worked out. It was seamless and I just exchanged it. I paid a couple extra dollars more. I believe it was nine extra dollars more to get this product home. And here we are. I love going to Macy's to check out new scents. I do love my Macy's perfume counter ladies. However, there are times when I meet a few that can be a little pushy. The one that I was talking to on this particular day she kept trying to stop me from getting the Billie Eilish and she kept saying, well, you need to get good girl. No, ma'am, I want the Billie Eilish. Well, you need to try good girl. Smell good girl. Smell good girl blush. This is the newest scent. No, ma'am, I want to try the Billie Eilish. Girl, you don't know what you're talking about. You need that good girl. I need you to run me my Billie Eilish, please. So she finally said, all the young girls coming in here, getting that blush, they getting the blush from good girl. I said, uh, ma'am, can I have the Billie Eilish, please? So she finally gave me my Billie Eilish. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and see what's really going on in this box. <laughs> very pretty gold packaging and I do like the mysterious looking box here I'm not much of a Billie Eilish fan I'm a fan of vanilla perfumes but I do like some songs that Billie has come out with some pretty edgy tunes so I'm not mad at her let's go ahead and smell this bottle of perfume now I was trying to be very careful with the packaging because like I said if this doesn't work out she's going back home she is going back home. Now the box is open and I'm pulling out this very interesting perfume bottle. Sit it down. Here is the perfume bottle. Very, very different. I do like that design. It's just a woman's body. What's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. So it's pretty, it's different. Make some nice decor perhaps, I don't know. But let's see how it smells. Okay. 
Okay. So the plan is we will spray this on ourselves, and I will give it a couple hours. I'm not just going to go off of the first initial blast. I did get a whiff of this. Um, at Macy's and I did love it and it did seem to kind of stick with me a little bit But that could have been a trick and we're not falling for those tricks anymore <laughs> So so let me go ahead and spray her all up on me and I will come back in a couple hours to let you know my thoughts Woo. Woo. Yeah, but let me not get super excited because I'm like that I will get excited about a fragrance and then it will let me down. But I love it. It's a mature vanilla scent, undeniable vanilla. There's a sweetness to it. She's not as loud as I would like my perfumes to be, but there is potentially a deepening of so I'm gonna let this do its thing. I usually spray like one behind the ear, one behind the other ear, one in the shirt, the wrists, okay? And that usually covers me. But um, if I'm wearing a skirt or wearing a different you know, outfit where my legs are exposed and I'll you know, dab the ankles, behind the knees, that sort of thing. So we'll see what this does. I'll be back in a couple hours after I've done some things, dealt with babies, all that good stuff. And then I'll let you guys know if Miss Billy is going back home to her pushy. If Billy is going back home to Macy's. I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm back with Billy. And I would like to say that I like her. I think that she is a keeper. Bronze bottle, so beautiful, representing a woman's body. Many people love it, many people hate it. I like it, I think it's really interesting, very cute, and she's not the first to use a woman's body or a woman's silhouette to create a perfume bottle. That all being said, I think it's unique, and yeah, I'm here for it. I can see it being used as some kind of decor even. I put this on around 3.30, around 3.30 this afternoon. It is now 9, coming up on 9 p.m., and it's still smells good definitely not as strong as before and honestly the billy eilish perfume is not strong it's not a strong slap you punch you in the face type of fragrance it is a sweet gentle nudge okay it's a sweet gentle nudge and i really like that now you know from previous videos i've said i love perfume that are loud that are bold that are sweet and i still do but i don't know i can appreciate i can appreciate this perfume and her subtle gentle ways i can smell her it seems like you know, as with most perfumes, once you're heated up or you're in the middle of something, that's kind of like when it'll warm up and it'll start to project, you know, the scent. The scent will start to project. And I found that happening several different times throughout the course of the past few hours. Um, I even found that when I went outside in the cool December breeze, it still kind of just floated around me. And I definitely got a thumbs up, a green light from my daughter who loves perfume as well. And I told her what I was wearing. At first she wasn't too impressed with it. She said it was very soft and sweet. 
But when we went out, she came up next to me and she said, Mom, I just got a whiff of your perfume. And she said that a couple different times. So the fragrance is definitely working. And I like that. Um, it's a creeper. It'll creep up on you. She's like a smooth, dancing, feminine, moving type of type of fragrance. And I can I can appreciate that. So I'm keeping her. Not to mention Billie Eilish perfume. The, the set that I got comes with the travel size. And I'm looking forward to rocking this perfume into the winter. And yeah, um, I don't know, maybe by the spring I'll want something different. Maybe by the spring I'll try that blush. <laughs> that blush by Good Girl that um, that that counter woman was, that perfume lady was pushing on me. Maybe I will try it because it did smell good. So for now, I'm loving, maybe not quite there yet with loving, but I could say I strongly like, I'm definitely here for it. So I would recommend that you, if you're into vanilla scents, you're into sweet scents, something that, you know, whispers, not yells at you, check out the Billie Eilish. I do know that they sell the travel size on Amazon for about $22. And I would definitely recommend that you give it a shot. So that's all I got, folks. I will talk to y'all soon. Peace and love. And thank you for stopping by.